What's up my friend, welcome back to another Kajabi video. So today we're gonna to take a quick look at how you can add the carousel to your website page on Kajabi. And I personally like What's up my friend, welcome back to another Kajabi video. And today we are taking a quick look at the carousel feature in Kajabi. Uh, this is personally something that I've wanted for quite a while because um, as you have more testimonials and social proof for your brand and your products, naturally you wanna display them because that will, uh, that's really the best marketing that you can have is word of mouth and getting people results, right? And so I have kind of a, a sequence, an email sequence set up in my backend that when someone purchases a course, I ask them like 30 days after purchasing if they would leave me a testimonial and of course not everyone will, but the people who do, you definitely want to take those and then share them as proof or social proof on your website, on your product pages, whatever you want to do. And as these come in, naturally you want to, uh, you don't want to make the website experience convoluted for your visitors. When they go through your products, you just want to make it as easy as possible for them to scroll through. And the carousel feature really allows you to do that in a really elegant and simple way. So I'm going to show you how I do that in just a second. But in, uh, before we actually get started with adding the carousel, what you wanna be able to do is make sure your actual page editor version is updated because um, in the in the initial versions, like I think it's 1.0 or lower, uh, the carousel feature is not present. So you actually have to go to your website and just make sure that you update. In this case, I'm, at, I'm on Encore 1.4.0 and that version does have the carousel. So just make sure when you're in your pages, um, you know, your, your website pages, that you update that first and then you will have the carousel available. So after that, you can go into your website design, then click customize. And previously, what I did was I had all my testimonials, you know, in, in the second half of my uh, homepage here, and I had tons of them. I basically had blocks and blocks of them. So you can see here, I have my different testimonials, and I basically had them going all the way down to the very bottom, which, me, which meant that the visitor had to scroll all the way down to the very bottom to see the entire homepage. But I think that's a little bit added friction, and it looks a little bit messier. So the carousel allows you to basically put as many images as you want, but it allows the person to scroll through them using arrows or if they're on their mobile, they can scroll through with their finger, you know? So it's really cool. So here in terms of the sections, you can see I have, you know, text at the top. I have my hero image and my lead magnet, little bio about myself, um, my demo reels because I'm in the music niche. And then I have some testimonials here. Um, and then here you can see there's the carousel. So if you just want to add that section, you can go through. Then here's the basic content with like text and forms and stuff. And then there's the hero different features, and then here's the carousel by itself. And so if you click that, it just looks like this. Once you click add, it's gonna look like this, and then you can go through and you can add your own image for that, um, image slide, and uh, then you can add the image, and then you, know, you can scroll through. So I'm just gonna delete this one. And this is what my carousel here looks like. So here you can see I have a ton of image slides, right? My very first one, let's go back actually, um, there we go. This is the very first one and I've basically uploaded that image. So it's a testimonial to this image. And then the image width, I just left it at 2000 because any larger, it's going to uh, basically enlarge the image much bigger and take up even more space in this section. So let me quickly show you if I put like 5,000. Okay, so now you can see how it enlarges quite a lot bigger, right? If I put it back down to 2000. Now you can see it's a little bit smaller. So especially on desktop, I don't want to overwhelm the, the viewer with huge, huge text, right? So I, I just went with a, a kind of a modest size there with 2000. Border radius doesn't really matter as much. Um, but that's this is this image width is kind of, kind of the main thing you want to play around with. So this one over here, you can see it's more of a rectangular image. So this is number four. Let me check image number four. One, two, three, four. This one I left as 800 because let me show you what it looks like on 2000. Okay, so now you can see it's huge, right? And that's because the entire image has been expanded to this entire block. Um, so that's way too big. So you just have to customize it in this case. Let's go back to 800. There we go. So image number four now looks like this. And so that's all I did. So, you know, you can go through and add in your testimonials. This one is super simple. It's just says, thank you so much, Chris, by the way, your course, uh, this course in particular is the best course I've ever done. Have a good Sunday, Roger, right? Um, and then I kind of like to sprinkle in visually as well, I kind of like to mix it up. Some of these were written on darker backgrounds as you can see here. So I like to mix it up with white backgrounds and black text. And then, you know, you can see there's more here, right? And then you can go back to the top. And by the way, if uh, by default, it's going to scroll 
automatically every few seconds. Um, so this is what it looks like. So auto play slides, I can I can check that box, right? And I think it's like maybe every three seconds it scrolls through. I'm not sure if you can change that right now in terms of the amount of time between each slide. Um, if they do have that, I will find that and let you know, but um, you, can, you can do a slide or you can do a fade. So I'm just gonna do slide because I like them to be able to click those arrows and see the images actually scrolling from side to side. Navigation size, um, that that's kind of like these little buttons at the very bottom. So I just like eight because the dots aren't too big and the navigation spacing is just a spacing between those dots. So I just left that at a two. Show navigation and leave it at the full width. Uh, let's see what happens if I do adaptive height. Okay, so now you can see here, it kind of got rid of the white space at the top and the bottom. Oh, and then it's shrinking as I go through. That's actually kind of cool. I don't mind this actually. Yeah, I might, I might actually add this one in. I'm not sure. Um, maybe it's a little distracting though. I don't know. I don't know. In this case, I'm just going to remove it. Um, I don't really mind having it all as, you know, like this. But anyway, so that that those are some of the features you can have there, okay? But anyway, the, the entire idea of the carousel, I, I really like because it allows me to put as many images as I want, especially social proof, which I think is the best marketing that you can have because you can have sales copy, right? You can talk about how great your product is, all the benefits, but in the back of their mind, they're going to be asking like, how many people have actually gone through this material and how have you helped other people with this? How do I know this is gonna work for me, right? And obviously, Although you can't guarantee 100% that they're going to get results because everyone's a bit different in how they accept information and apply information, you can make their decision a lot easier whether or not to purchase by giving them social proof. And so on the front page of my website, I just put a lot of my testimonials here, especially from free content as well. Um, so a lot of these comments you can see are like YouTube comments. Um, these ones are about my course specifically, but here, Gary went through some of my free content and he got results right away. Uh, Nate went through my course, course. Um, and yeah, here's, here's another from a free, free piece of content, a free video, right? Fantastic, fantastic content creates that it's free. Thanks from an existing student of your courses. So that shows like this guy, Bill, right? He went through my material, but he also values my free content as well. Paul and Ray both went through my free content. They both really enjoyed it. So it, it, it lets the, this, the potential student know, if your free content is valued by people, then your paid content must be even better, right? Because you, like, if, if you're willing and generous enough to give away your free content, the best of what you have to offer, and, you know, you're willing to transform people's lives just by giving it away for free, imagine what the paid stuff must be like. And so I think it's really powerful. Um, and so I tried to snapshot as many of these as possible, the ones that have really gotten my students results and they're really excited about, you know, the programs that they take, they took. I want to show that as social proof that my programs actually work and my free content works as well. And I think the carousel is the best way to do that instead of layering like 20 images, you know, one after another on one section of a page that would just make it extremely long. A carousel allows you to add as many as you want and they can just scroll side to side without having that vertical amount compromised basically. So really cool update. I highly recommend you using it, especially if you have a lot of testimonials, just throw them on, you know, your website page or on your sales page. You can even do that there too. I'm pretty sure. I just decided to do it on my homepage because, um, I, I want to show people that I've gotten my students results just from my free content and in my courses as well. And they don't even have to click on any of my sales pages in order to find that social proof. So um, I like to show it right here on the website, but there we go. Um, super, super useful. And hopefully you can see the value in that as well. Kajabi allows you to basically do whatever you need to in your online business. And this is just one aspect of it in the website editor, really, really cool update. And I really enjoy it. And I look forward to all the other updates they come up with every single month. It's, it's super exciting. So if you're entertaining, trying Kajabi for your your online business, selling your courses, your memberships, hosting your website, your email marketing, analytics, contacts, all of that great stuff in one platform. They usually give you 14 days on their website to try out for free. But if you use my link down below, christophercu.com slash Kajabi, then you can take advantage of an extended 30 day free trial. So more than double. And uh, it is an affiliate link. So if you become a paying member after your free trial, then part of your payment will support me and this channel. Of course, there's no obligation, but it's greatly appreciated if you want to take advantage of that extended 30 day free trial plus two 
two bonus mini courses I wanna give you absolutely free. The first one is called Kajabi in 30 Days, and this will walk you through exactly how you can set up your online business from start to finish on Kajabi within your free trial of those 30 days, or even sooner if you take advantage of it and apply it really quickly, you can start making money on Kajabi within the first week if you wanted to, you know? And the second one is called Content Marketing for Creatives. This is the business model I'm using to put out free content into the world and then monetize my knowledge on the back end through my courses, my memberships, my coaching, all of that stuff. And I'll show you step-by-step -step how I do that as well. So uh, you'll receive that after you become a paying member of Kajabi. Just forward me your receipt and I'll grant you manual access to that. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions, if you uh, have any suggestions for future videos, I'd love to hear from you. But in any case, I'll see you in the next video and take care. Bye-bye.